Hi, I'm Mark Verbos from Verbos Electronics. Uh, we're at the NAM Show 2023. The product that we're showing this year is the real world interface, which is uh, a module that's intended for allowing sounds from the outside world to be integrated into the, the, the system. So that includes um, sounds in, acoustic sounds in the air through the internal microphones that are behind these, these holes right here. They go to these preamps and, and also an external microphone or, or any kind of signal could be patched in um, before the preamps. And then an envelope follower and a gate extractor on, on these outside channels. And then in this, the center channel, there's uh, the preamp followed by an automatic gain control, which is a compressor, a, fixed, a pretty extreme compressor with fixed um, constants. A fundamental extractor or a, a tracking low pass filter and um, a locked oscillator and uh, pitch CV extractor. So when monophonic external sounds are sent through that channel, then you can have the, the locked oscillator following along on the pitch of, of those sounds, and the CV coming out could be used to, to make a, a, another oscillator track along with that. Um, as is historically the case with frequency detectors, um, it's not incredibly accurate. It won't replace, um, you know, Melodyne or uh, <laughs> something like this. But it is an interesting um, source uh, uh, for taking external sounds and, and creating uh, modulators for, for other parameters. It's quite interesting. So is it, is it like a phase lock loop or something? Yeah, it's using uh, something like that technology, but um, the, the gate extractor is actually engaging sample and hold on the, the pitch tracking so that it's only updating the, the phase lock loop during the periods when there are notes. So, um, well, if we do an example of this. So right now, that that's the uh, a sound from from the um, from the complex oscillator. So depending on how hard we're hitting it, it's getting more and more compressed, which is apparent from the the attack coming out. Uh, maybe with something a little bit with more, a little bit more harmonics, and then so that fundamental extractor, you can hear that it's filtered down more, and then okay, now it's important in this to to tune the the level so that the the gate extraction, you can see that it's only engaging during notes, and then it will track. We also have, right now we have this external microphone patched into to the channel here, and this going through the multi-delay. So, uh, so take the envelope follower out of that channel to affect the delay time. Envelope followers and gate extractors are, are interesting uh, in a studio situation where if you have external things like drum machines or tracks coming off of a DAW that you want to process through the, the modular, then you have the ability to um, make the other parameters, filter cutoff or delay time or whatever, affected by, by those signals um, so that the this instrument doesn't 
doesn't only send in one direction, but we can actually um, give and take with the, whether it's acoustic sounds in the room or with the um, recorded sounds. So is that why we've got kind of two channels of uh, input there, so that we can make it easier to do like stereo input? Or well, yeah, that or is. I mean, mono, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it, it is stereo in that respect, but um, the idea really is just to have a, an opportunity to, to to do it on multiple channels. I mean, by using um, an envelope follower and uh, VCA, uh, you can you can create. Um, Dynamics processors, you can create compression or expansion or whatever, and um, you can all you can also do the kind of classic um, external processing patches, like using the envelope follower to change the filter cutoff, and perhaps using pitch extraction not to make it follow the pitch of an external signal, but to to make the the pitch. Um, modulate something else, whether it's um, spectral information or, um, I mean, obviously your imagination is the only limit, but um, traditionally, because the signal levels in a, a Eurorack modular are quite high compared to line level, um, it's traditionally um, a little bit disappointing when bringing um, external signals in um, getting them to, to interact in it properly. So, so having the preamps is useful there, and having the followers and gate extraction is useful for creating control voltage processes out of that. And then the the center section is a, a bit more uncharted territory, I guess. In the <laughs> there aren't so many um, uh, pitch tracking modules in the history of modulars. So. So um, is this kind of, what's the kind of roadmap for like availability and, uh, and price point? Do we um, have anything there? Uh, well, we're hoping uh, to be shipping this summer, um, late July, early August. Um, price point, I really don't know at the moment, but um, it's, I mean, what you're looking at right now is just a prototype, but um, since we're manufacturing it in-house, we, you know, we can move relatively quickly from from this stage to, to manufacturing. Brilliant. Well, Mark, enjoy the show, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.